A Mid Valley wing stop dips yeah. onto the Food Patrol's low performer list for a number of health code violations. Yeah, but it's what turns up inside a Raspa stand that's turning heads tonight. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. There are a ton of Raspa flavors on the menu at Summer Delight on 2009 Lisner Avenue in Donna. But it's the fear of what's not on the menu. You're kidding me. That has some customers in total disgust. You just ruined my Raspa. <laughs> Roaches make up some of the 12 demerits on a health inspection report. Gabriel Calderon can't help but wonder if there's a new flavor here. Roachadilly. <laughs> <laughs> with Lucas. The Food Patrol tries to get to the bottom of the roaches in the Raspa stand, but the owner, identified as Bob Pinitas, gives us an icy reception. They found roaches, so that well, concerns yeah, us. I, yeah, well, well, we took care of them. What happened, though? Well, you know, it doesn't concern you, so we're taking care of it. You don't think it concerns us? We report well, to the viewers, and the viewers well, it, spend it, their hard-earned money here, right? Yeah, but there was, we've been fumigating and as far as I know, it's been humiliating. McDonald's inside the Walmart on 1310 North Texas Boulevard in Westlaco is the dirtiest this week on Food for Thought. 30 demerits. The inspector reports finding a lot of flies, expired dipping sauce, employee drinks over the food prep area with burgers, and dirty equipment with a large amount of grease accumulated. The Food Patrol's here to see what's been done but we only get Mick kicked out. So just following up on the inspection, you guys had 30 demerits on. Okay, we cannot provide any information. If you would come, you cannot take either. Wing stop on 1504 West Expressway 83 in Westlaco scores a lot of demerits too. 26, it's a low performer. No hairnets, missing labels on foods, hand wash station inaccessible, toxic items improperly stored, an expired health permit, and flies. A lot of them, according to a kitchen cop. Roy Madrigal addresses that issue with the food patrol as assistant manager. There was a, a big yes, problem with flies. Yes, and that's why they cleaned that part already, and we, got, we started little by little, you know, fixing all the things that we had to do. Church's Chicken on 515 West 2nd Street in Mercedes is this week's feature top performer with zero demerits. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a brand new top performer in the city of Mercedes. Jesus Gomez is all smiles with his new sticker from the Food Patrol. We do everything here to keep it clean and safe. You know what we say to that? Keep it clean. Well, congratulations to these additional top performer sticker winners. Boyo King, El Pato, McDonald's, Pizza Patron in Edinburgh, Capital City, Golden Corral, Waterberg on Ed Carey in Harlingen, and Adolios in Brownsville. Remember kitchens, keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. Hey, Food Patrol fans have a place to talk about their restaurant experiences, both good and bad. All you have to do is follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I also post behind the scenes pics and exclusive content before it hits the air. All you have to do is search Ryan Wolf.